afternoon, ladies. My name is Peter, and I'll be your... Waiter? I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> anyway, where was... Oh, yeah. Good afternoon, ladies. I'm, um... Peter? I said I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> anyway, what can I get for you? How about a couple of shakes? <laughs> Anything else? No, thanks. Okay. <laughs> now I know where they came up with the term soda jerk. <laughs> anyway, here it is. Chris's first letter from college. Ready? Wait. I'm scared. What if college has changed Chris? I mean, what if he's turned into a sophisticated, mature intellectual? Howdy, knuckleheads. <laughs> well, he's just freshman. <laughs> Hey, who is that? Oh, he's new in town. Do you know anything about him? Well, not much. Uh, here we go. Cummings, Jeffrey Douglas, AKA Jeff. Last known resident, Boston, Mass. Straight A student, captain of hockey team. Has birthmark shape of New Zealand on left leg. I pride myself on thoroughness. Do you think we should ask him to join us? Yeah, Evie, make your move. Lindsay. Only you could take a simple, neighborly gesture and turn it into a sleazy, make your move. Gina Curtis is headed over there. I better make my move. Hi. Uh, Cummings, Jeffrey Douglas? How'd you know my name? I guessed. You look like a Cummings, Jeffrey Douglas. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm Evie Garland. Would you like to join me, my friend? I'd love to. Uh, Lindsay, this is Jeff Cummings. Jeff, I'd like you to meet Lindsay Selkirk. Hi. Hey, aren't you the one that chased me around gym class trying to take a picture of my birthmark? <laughs> yes. It's for a student film I'm doing called Birthmarks of a Nation. <laughs> I just have to get a shot of Gorbachev's head and I'm done. So, Jeff, I hear you're from Boston. How do you like California? I hate it. California's loaded with weirdos, wackos, and flake balls. That's not true. Good afternoon, sir. Would you like a shake? No! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, you're from Boston. That's right. The home of Paul Revere's Ride, the Boston Tea Party, um, the Battle of Bunker Hill. What history-making events have ever happened in California? The S Festival? <laughs> you know, you need a tour guide to really show you California, Jeff. Someone who lives here. Someone knowledgeable. Someone witty, charming, and attractive. Oh, I'm sorry, Evie. I've got to help my mom with dinner tonight. Why don't you take Jeff? <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. So how about it, Jeff? Are we on? Sure, as long as I'm home in time for the evening news. The news? Of course. You're not going anywhere in this world if you don't know what's going on in this world. Right. We knew that. We always watch the evening news, don't we, Lindsay? Every morning. Who's your favorite anchor person? Downtown Julie Brown. California. Well, listen, I'll come back and pick you up. I just have to gas up my car. I, I hate to let it get below seven eighths. Boy, talk about uptight. Talk about stiff. Talk about gorgeous. Yeah. And you're going out with him. I'm shocked, Evie. Why? Well, you're cheating on Chris. There's hope for you yet. I'm not cheating on Chris. We decided that we were too young to be so serious, that it was time we started to see other people. You mean to tell me that if Chris walked through that door right now, it'd still be okay for you to go out with Jeff? Absolutely. No problem. Hey, 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 everybody, look who's back. Uh-oh, problem. <laughs> I gotta get out of here before Jeff comes back. Of all the 50s diner replicas in all the world, he had to walk into mine. <laughs> Lindsay, Evie. <laughs> Was it, wasn't Evie sitting right there? She was, but now she's not. I guess she had to run. Hey, Chris, you wanna see something really funny? Sure, why not? Peter, can we have a couple of shakes? This is great watch. Here you are. That'll be a, that'll be a buck ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
This is really funny. <laughs> I really don't have time for one of your inventions right now. I've got business at City Hall. No, 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 no. You're gonna love this, Donna. And Kyle, as police chief, I'm sure you had better things to do with your time. No. I'm clear until Oprah. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay? How many times have you been driving on a long trip and said to yourself, I wish those kids would stop fighting in the back seat? I don't have any kids. Evie's an only child. I don't even have a back seat. No. Forget it. Let's make believe, okay, that I'm the dad and you're my two kids fighting in the back seat. That does it. Vino, I am very supportive of your new career as an entrepreneur, but I am not going to act like a child. What's the matter, Donna? Chicken? What? Donna's a chicken. Donna's a chicken. Stop it. Stop it. Make him stop it. Uh-oh. I have to discipline my kids, but I can't take my eyes off the road. This looks like a job for... Santa on a stick. <laughs> hey, you kids, if you're expecting any gifts from me this year, you'd best be cutting the crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, it works. What do you think? Well, gee, Bino, it's awfully cute, but I'm, I'm just really not sure Santa would say you'd best be cutting the crap. Hey, Mrs. G. <laughs> Well, what are you doing here? Isn't this where Evie lives? <laughs> hey, hey, Chief. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing back in college? You flunk out? Oh, Kyle, he's only been in school for three weeks. You didn't flunk out, did you? No <laughs> way. I quit. You quit college? You, you walked out on your passport to the future? You gave up a co-ed dorm? Oh, relax, everybody. I signed up at Marlowe Community College. Oh. Didn't you like the school in Nebraska? Oh, yeah. Till I found out they didn't have a surfing team. So, where's Evie? Upstairs pining away for me? <laughs> and then our last stop at the tour of Marlowe, Evie Garland's house, the home of Evie Garland. No flash pictures, please. <laughs> um, gee, uh, that's the end of our tour. Be sure and visit our gift shop on the way out. <laughs> Is that... You? Hi, Mom. Well, hi, dear. Who's that? Who's who? <laughs> this frozen teenager. Oh, him! <laughs> That's Jeff Cummings. He's new in town. Well, why don't you bring him in? You can introduce him to Uncle Bino and Kyle and Chris. Oh. Oh, Evie Ethel Garland. Mom, look, Chris and I are supposed to be seeing other people, but I don't want him to see me seeing other people, see? See? <laughs> so you'll cover for me till he goes back to Nebraska? Honey, he's not going back. He transferred to Marlowe Community College. Ooh. No, <laughs> so you can't avoid Chris forever. If you want to keep seeing Jeff, you'll have to come in and tell him the truth. You're right. It's the only decent thing to do. Then I'm gonna do it. Tomorrow. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Hello. I didn't do anything wrong. So tell him. After all, we did agree to see other people. So tell him. I mean, we're not going steady anymore. So, so tell, tell him. him. <laughs> all right. I'll tell him. Are you crazy? But you just said I should... I was just saying what you wanted me to say. You know I don't like to tell people how to run their lives. Hey, buddy, get a haircut. It's the 90s. <laughs> anyway, Evie, I can guarantee you can pull this off. I mean, after all, Chris is in college. Jeff's in high school. What are the odds that they'll ever meet? Evie, Lindsay, guess who I met? I don't suppose you're interested in my picks for the Kentucky Derby. Uh, oh, Jeff, I I'd like to introduce you to two of my closest friends, Evie and Lindsay. Oh, we've already met. You have? Chris! I heard you were back in town. I've been looking all over for you. Well, here I am. <laughs> so, can we join you? Well, uh, sure you can. <laughs> Excuse me, Jeff, but uh, 
This would work a lot better if you'd sit next to Lindsay. Well, I don't mean to be disagreeable, Chris, but why don't you sit next to Lindsay? <laughs> because I don't want to sit next to Lindsay. Well, I don't want to sit next to Lindsay either. Hey, 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 you guys. Could you stop fighting over me? You're swelling my head. Maybe who do you want to sit next to? Lindsay? <laughs> Jeff, I'm sorry. I forgot you're new around here. You see, Evie is, uh, kind of my girl. <laughs> is that true, Evie? Well, gee, uh... <laughs> if she's your girl, then why did she go out with me yesterday? Is that true, Evie? Gee, uh, well, uh... <laughs> I told you you'd never get away with this. <laughs> Evie? Yes, Chris, I did go out with Jeff. But we had an agreement to see other people, didn't we? You're right. We did. I'm, I'm sorry I acted so stupid. That's okay. I forgive you for cheating on me. <laughs> what? Chris, just because you used to go out with Evie does not mean that you own her. That's right. Thank you, Jeff. And besides, I went out with her more recently, so if she's anyone's girl, she's mine. <laughs> Who does it? I'm not gonna sit around while you two fight over me like I'm some kind of prize. That's right. Evie is no prize. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I happen to be a person, not a possession. You know, Chris, Evie's right. There's got to be a way we can work this out without acting like a couple of idiots. And to treat Evie with the respect she deserves. Absolutely. I know. Let's flip a coin for her. You're on. <laughs> so the next thing you know, they're flipping a coin for me. That's terrible. Who won? Dad! Troy. Evie is upset because of how she's been treated, not because of who won. Who did win? You know, Evie, some women find it very flattering that a man would fight over I once got in an arm wrestling match over your mother. Really? With who? Your grandmother. <laughs> I took it two out of three. <laughs> See you later, sweethearts. Bye, Dad. Bye, Troy. You know, honey, when you think about it, it is kind of romantic to win the hand of a beautiful damsel, the two brave warriors engage in a battle to the death. <laughs> Their balanced ping pong balls on their noses. Hi, Mrs. G. Hello again, Mrs. Garland. Hi, boys. <laughs> hey, you cheated. What are you guys doing now? Well, we couldn't decide a winner on the <clears throat> coin flip, so we came up with an Evie decathlon. And I just pulled ahead thanks to her stellar performance in the armpit noise-making competition. <laughs> Your mother must be so proud. <laughs> you two are the biggest morons I've ever met. Who do you think is a bigger moron? Competition. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that does it. How are we going to get them to stop? Let me handle it. I'll bring this all to an end. Time out. Lindsay, I was just about to lunge. You want a Kleenex? <laughs> what do you want, Lindsay? We're busy. Look, the stupid decathlon has got to stop. I mean, all this coin flipping and juggling and fencing is not going to win Evie's love. And do you know why? Why? Because they're sissy sports. <laughs> you need to do something physical, something masculine, something that requires you to sweat a lot and wear clingy shorts. <laughs> like boxing. Boxing? Yeah. 
Just climb into a ring and slug each other senseless in the name of love. Winner take all. Let's do it. Thanks, Lindsay. See, I told you I'd bring this all to an end. Are you nuts? They don't know a thing about boxing. Chris or Jeff could become brain damaged. Well, Jeff could. You got nothing to worry about. I was a boxer for years, and I never suffered any brain damage at all. That's it. We gotta start that fight. Oh, can we at least wait till we get their shorts on? <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake. Huckleberry pie. Great. Kyle's here. I'll go talk to him. You go look for Chris and Jeff and don't stop for anything until you find them. Evie, you can count on me. I'll leave no towel unturned. <laughs> Buttercups. Uh, Buttercups. Kyle! Oh. Kyle! Buttercup what? <laughs> this better be important, Evie. I was just getting up to threesies. Kyle! Chris and Jeff are gonna fight each other. You gotta do something. You got it. All right, hold it, hold it, you guys. Just a second. Hold it, hold it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you can't have this fight. Not without a referee. <laughs> okay. You both know the rules? No. You don't? Oh, well, let's see. Uh, uh, when I ring the bell, you both start hitting each other. A lot. Okay? I think we got it. There's gotta be somebody that can stop this. Gold chains weigh a ton. Hate to be behind him at the airport. <laughs> Gotta straighten his voice. Hey, fool. Good. Sounds all right. Now I gotta stop that fight. All right, what's going on here? Mr. T? What are you doing here? Who wants to know? Uh, they do. <laughs> well, here. <laughs> I bought you this. What is this fight all about? A girl. A girl? You guys are willing to throw away a potentially good friendship over some girl? She must be real pretty. Uh, she's, she's okay. okay. Not bad. <laughs> About a seven? Yeah. A seven? M make that a nine. 9.5. <laughs> Have you guys thought that maybe this girl might not want to get seriously involved with anyone right now? Even though I'm extremely fond of you, and I think you're both pretty cute. <laughs> you, you do? I mean, she does. She does. But knowing this girl might not want either one of you fools, you still want to get in the ring and try to kill each other anyway? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. But I pity the fool that wins, because you're going to have to fight me. Chris wins. Oh, Jeff wins. It could be no rematch. <laughs> fools. Hi, Mom. I'm home. Hi, honey. Have a nice day. Mom, hmm? have you noticed anything different about me? Evie Ethel Garland, how many times have I told you not to wear so much jewelry? <laughs> Go upstairs and finish your homework. Oh, Ma, do I have to? Go now and clean up your room. Hurry up, hurry up. 